So, ito na po ang ating tutorial para sa difficult round noong 2019 MMC Grade 6 National Finals. Okay, question number 1. In a class of 30 students, 12 played in the band and 17 played volleyball. Of these, 5 students, of these, 5 students did both. How many students did not participate in either activity? Okay, so ang pinakamagandang approach dito is matuto tayo magamit yung Venn Diagram. Kasi dito mas makikita natin. So, gawa tayo nito ay box na sa Venn Diagram. Una yan para sa universal set. And then, sabi raw, band tsaka volleyball. So, dalawa yan. Okay? Ito yung band. Ito yung volleyball. 12 played in band, 17 played volleyball. These 5 students did both. So, sa gitna yan, both kasi. So, 5 yan. Kung 17 nagbalalaro ng volleyball, ibig sabihin dito, yung only volleyball na lang is 12. Paano nangyari yun? Kasi volleyball daw 17. So, buong ito, 17. E may lima na naglalaro nun, ng boat. So, ibig sabihin, yung only volleyball lang, 12. Sabay, 12 daw sa band. So, ibig sabihin, 7 yung only band. Then, ang tinatanong, how many students did not participate in either activity? So, ito, lahat na nagparticipate sa both activity na yan. So, 7 plus 5... 12 plus 12, 24. Ikaso e 30 students lahat. So, kung 30 lahat, then 24 yung nag-participate sa dalawa na yan. So, minus lang natin. Sagot is 6. Okay, so 6 yung hindi nag-participate sa dalawa activities. So, the correct answer is 6. Okay, question number 2. If the 9-digit number A... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, B is divisible by 45. Determine all possible values of A and B. Okay, so, masasabi lang na divisible by 45 siya kung both divisible siya ng 9 and 5. So, okay. So, una, paano siya masasabi na divisible by? Dapat diba divisible siya by 5 and 9? So, una, hanapin natin is dapat divisible siya by 5. 5. Okay. Para siya may divisible by 5. Yung B, dapat 5 yan siya or 0. So, kung yung B equal siya sa 5, ano dapat yung A natin? Equal saan? Hindi dapat divisible din siya by 9. So, kung 5 yung B, hindi mo masasabi divisible by 9 if yung sum ng digits is divisible by 9. So, kung 5 yung B, 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. 18 plus 5 is 23. 23 plus 4, 27. Plus 3, 30. 30 plus 2, 32. Plus 1, 33. So, anong i-add natin dito para maging divisible by 9? So, maga plus 3 lang tayo. So, para maging 36. So, yung A natin is 3. Kapag ang B is 5. So, ano next? Yung B is equal to 0. Para maging divisible by 5. So, kung 0 yung ano, yung B natin, ano naman yung A. Okay? So, dito sa sagot natin na to na 33 kanina, kung ang B is 5, bawasan na natin ng 5 to. Para madali. So, 28. So, anong i-add natin dito sa 28 para maging divisible by 9? E di, 8. Para maging 36. So, ang A natin is 8. So, meron na tayo. So, ang sagot natin is 3,5 or 8,0. Where yung A natin is 3 and 5. Then, yung B natin is, I mean, yung isang pair pa is 8 or 8,0. Okay, for the question number 3, the areas of two squares are 3,481 square centimeters and 1,681 square centimeter, respectively. Find the difference of their perimeters in centimeters. Okay, so, syempre, bigay-bigay area, hanapin natin yung side para makuha yung perimeter. So, yung isang square daw, area is 3,481. Then, yung isa is 1,681. So, dito, kailangan mabilis tayo mag and error kung hindi natin alam yung square root nito. So, itong 1,681, ang pinakamalapit na alam natin. Dito. Okay. So, ito try natin yung 40 times 40, yung 40 squared. 
So, ang 40 squared is, ilan to? 6 squared natin yung 4, 16, then dalawang 0, 1,600. So, ano yung nagmalapit sa 40 na nagtatapos sa 1? Di ba 41? 41 squared. So, itry natin. Agad, dapat mabilis tayo dito. 41 times 41. 1, 4, 4, 16. 1, 6, 81. So, tama. 41 squared to siya. Ito na yung side ng isang square. Okay, so, anong sunod natin nga hanapin? Yung sa isa naman. Sa 3, 4, 81. So, mag-isip agad tayo. Anong malapit dito? Siyempre, yung 60 squared. Ano yung 60 squared? Di ba equal siya sa 6 times 6, 36? 3,600. So, anong um, number malapit sa 60 na pag in-square mo ang end is 1? Di ba 59 squared? Kasi yung 9 squared is 81. So, try natin na. 59 times 59. 1, 8, 53, 5, 4, 29. 1, 8, 4, 1, 3. So, tama. 59 squared. So, ito na yung sides ng dalawang squares. 59 and 41. Tinatanong is difference sa perimeter nila. So, subtract na lang natin. 49 minus 41 equals 18. Kaso perimeter, so to times 4 na lang natin yung 18. So, 72. The correct answer is 72 centimeters. Okay, number 4. Ito, maganda to. The total number of ducks and chickens in the garden is 335. If the number of chickens is 2 thirds of the number of ducks, how many chickens are there in the garden? So, dapat grade 6 tayo. Matuto na tayo sa algebra. Okay, so the total number of ducks and chickens in the garden is 335 if the number of chickens is two-third of the number of ducks. Okay? So, yung duck, nangyari, ang duck is, ang ducks, let natin yung number niya is N. So, yung number ng chickens, anong sabi? Two-thirds daw ng number ng ducks. So, two-thirds lang nito. Two-third N. Then, ang total daw is 335. So, ipagpa-plus lang natin to. N plus 2 thirds N equals 335. So, paano natin ito isusolve? Ano yung 2 thirds? N plus 2 thirds. Di ba pareho lang yan sa 1 plus 2 third? May N lang. So, 5 over 3 N equals 335. Then, paano natin ito masasolve yung value ng n? Diba, ang gagawin lang natin is times lang natin ito. I-divide lang natin ito dito or times lang natin sa reciprocal. So, n equals 335 times 3 over 5 para n na lang matira. So, anong sagot dito? When divide natin ito ng 5 is mental 6, 67. 67 times 3 is the ba? Oh, okay. 67 times 3 1, 2 201. So, N is 201. Pero ang tinatanong, how many chickens are there in the garden? Chicken ang tinatanong. E, ito yung ducks number ng ducks tong N. So, kukunin mo yung 2 thirds ng 201. So, 201 times 2 thirds. The correct answer is mental na lang natin. Um, divide natin 6, 7, 67 times 2 is 134. Okay? So, the correct answer is 134. Okay, last question na tayo mga idol. The faces of some dice are marked with dots from 1 to 6 such that the numbers, the, num the total number of dots on any two opposite faces of a die is 7. Four dice are arranged as shown so that the faces of two dice that touch each other have the same number of dots. What is the total number of dots on the faces that touch each other? Okay. So, alam natin, di ba, na yung sa opposite side nung dot, ng die, yung number of dots nun, pag pinag-plus mo, equal yan sila sa 7. So, una, makikita natin ito sa harap. Okay. So, gagawa tayo nito. Kanyari ito. Imagine natin. Pagdikit-dikit natin yan. Yan siya, pag tinignan mo sa top, top view. Okay? Sa 
harap dito makikita mo na 3 3 yan di ba so ano yung kasalungat nya di ba 4 para maging 7 then ang sabi raw yung magkadikit magkadikit daw na die yung 2 dice na magkadikit yung face pareho yun ng number ng dots so kung 4 to 4 din ito ok then ano pa nakita natin ito 6 daw to kung 6 yan 1 ito so ito 1 kung 1 yan ang kasalungat nya ba 6 so kung 6 yan 6 din ito then, ano yung tinatanong? What is the total number of dots on the faces that touch each other? So, ipagpa-plus lang natin ito, ito, tsaka ito. So, 6 plus 6, 12, 12 plus 2, 14, 14 plus 8 is 22. So, the correct answer is 22. Ganun lang po siya kadali.